Hi folks, I'm very excited about this. A very special parcel arrived today from Train World in the US. As you all probably know, I live in Australia and it only took six working days to get here. So a big shout out for all their service. Now, this is the Paragon 4 new release of the ATSF 4000 class. I haven't unboxed it yet. Uh, we'll do it together. I've taken it out of the train roll box, but I haven't taken the loco out of the Broadway box. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. The box is pretty typical Broadway Limited. You can notice that it's got the new Paragon 4 logo. It's quite a large box. It's not a large locomotive, but it's quite a large box. Not a lot on the sides. And I'll just show you the end. Excuse the glare coming through in the window. Okay, so that's the loco I've acquired. I've been waiting this for, so, for this loco for so long. So I'll just set the camera up on the tripod and we'll get into an unboxing. Okay, for the first time we'll take this out of the box. It's a bit tight, but we'll get there. Put that down. Okay, first of all we have the user manual, the Paragon 4 user manual uh, very similar to the earlier manuals a um, bit hard to see if you've had Broadway Limited before you won't have any problems with this type of manual goes through the activated sounds volume mute Commonly used, these are DC settings. The DCC settings are at the end of the book. A function list. It also comes with a separate function list. Macro recordings, so forth and so forth. The thing I find most interesting is towards the rear is the CVs. Let's see if I can get that in the focus for you. It's a bit hard. So they're all the CVs that you normally need. Pretty standard stuff. And an exploded parts diagram. Again, very hard to see. Again, standard. Tender on the back. And a small default function key list, which is good. You don't need the manual, although most of these you'll know off the top of your head pretty quickly. And if you've had Broadway before, not a lot's changed. So, let's get on to the exciting part. Okay, upside down. There she is, folks, in her blister pack. Get her out. I'll just move the box. Again, very standard for Broadway now with their newer lines. Take off the protective sleeve. Take off the two side sleeves. We 
we have a a bag of traction tires and a tool for removing the side links side rods small funnel for the smoke fluid which by the way this loco does not come with smoke fluid okay and there she is folks Let's see if I can just zoom in a little bit I can tell you the camera just does not do this justice so we'll get her out okay now the tender is connected I'll just quickly give you a rough look at the size it's got quite a large tender, very large tender in fact and then we'll I'll put it on the track on my rolling road track and we'll have a good look at it and fire it up for the first time well folks I've placed her on the track and all I can say one word describes this locomotive stunning Broadway has lifted the bar with detail finish and the amount of separately applied details is unbelievable I'll just go along the side for you this is the switcher version they make two versions of this locomotive they make the road version and a switcher version the biggest difference in the switcher version is the addition of a rear light backup light and a rear marker light and we'll see that in closer detail when we power it up she's truly stunning we'll go back to the front and we'll have a closer look at some of the detail I'm not going to go over every detail It has the switcher pilot. You can see that there. Builder's plate. Do we can get a bit closer? Gets a bit grainy. Brass bell. Running numbers. It has, I believe, non functioning lights at the at the top there but if you have a look at this detail it's just superb all this is all this detail along here it's separately applied just beautifully done they make the claim of it being better than brass quality and I don't think they're far off that We'll go over the top Grumman figures you can't see in the cab very well but for the first time the cab is actually painted on a Broadway limited locomotive very hard to see unfortunately I might be able to um, later on show you a closer view of that this is a oil tender of course so there's no coal load again at the rear beside the backup light and the marker light there is a switching pilot as well just truly remarkable you won't be disappointed with the 
level of detail. Even the piping on the firebox is all separately applied. Your um, air pump, I believe that's a water heater, I'm not sure. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not up to date with this class of locomotive. So I'll um, just turn her around so we can have a look at the other side quickly and then we'll fire her up. The detail on this side is just as good. Superb in fact. We'll just go in and have a look at that builder's plate a bit closer here. It is slightly different on this side. I don't know if the camera can pick it up very well. So I guess next thing to do is to fire her up. I'll put her on the rolling road because as some of you may be aware I have dismantled my layout we are moving house and I don't have a layout at the moment so all I've got is this rolling road to um, to show you the rolling stock on well folks we have it on the rolling road um, We'll press F9 and fire her up and see how she sounds. Turn the head to headlight on. I'll just dim the light so you can see the headlight. It's the camera's not on a good angle. Horn? Sorry, whistle. It's not a diesel. Well... And we'll set it at speed step one. Got the smoke turned on. Normally, I don't run my locos with smoke. So 
it nice and smooth. I forgot to mention before too that it has a die cast spoiler. So it's pretty heavy. change direction get a bit closer I've adjusted the CVs 3 and 4 acceleration and deceleration a little bit and I've also turned the master volume quite a long way down out of the box it's too loud Stop it for a moment, see if I can get a better angle for you. Just put it in reverse. And you can see the very small light at the back. It's tiny. This is a very small screwdriver. That, that's smaller than a match head.
thought I'd give you a demo of the sound as it comes out of the box. This has been reset to factory defaults. No settings have been changed whatsoever. Shut it down. Okay, folks, I'm going to try and do a video each week of a different locomotive. Some are new, some won't be so new. They'll all be sound, DCC. I will show you some that I've purchased and retrofitted sound into them. So next week I've got probably my favourite locomotive. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what it is. But yeah, I look forward to um, showing it to you. See you next week. Bye folks.